The American Political Divide, Privilege, Power, and Perspective. Walk in another man's shoes. She's wearing rose-colored glasses. Clichés. Cute. What about perspective? Most of us would admit, on face value, that other stories are just as valuable as ours. And, um, and it's substantial, and they're, they're as substantial as our own. What is our immediate, our instantaneous response, our uh, feeling or judgment? When I was 18, if a black woman would, would, um, would bob her head and start talking, complaining about something, speaking in a manner or an accent or a pattern that wasn't like my mother's or my aunt's, or, or anything I was used to, then my brain did a judge and dismiss instantaneously. She was lazy. She wanted a handout. Why? Well, my American flag was red, white, and conservative. That is what I was taught. Those were my inputs, along with cultural Christianity from the First Baptist Church of Dublin, San Ramon, in California. So what happened? Well, I opened my passport and my ears, stretched my legs. College helped, um, but the Navy sent me, sent me everywhere. 18 months in, in um, Scotland, uh, 18 months in Italy, actually, 21 months in Scotland. I was in Panama, Egypt. I was three weeks uh, in Israel, uh, two weeks in Japan. I studied in a NATO electronic school with Turkish guys, Germans, French guys, Spanish dudes, you name it, right? We played cards, we drank, we, we bragged about food, talked about women. We weren't really that different. Um, I was also ready to explore, compare my ideas and understandings. I asked questions, I, sometimes too many if you ask the guys in, in the Navy who knew me well, if you ask my shipmates. You know what, maybe my California existence wasn't on the top shelf all by itself after all. I could have been born in Beirut or Bangladesh or Bali or any of a number of places. I started to understand that all perspectives have value and are worthy of being heard. Privilege? What about privilege? Well, my grandfather died with over a million dollars in assets in 1984. When he was a toddler, his family traveled by wagon from Iowa to California, or so, so the story goes. Westward Ho. From what I know of 1910, I would guess that in the farming country of Turlock, California, the opportunities for white folks were a bit better than those afforded the children of African slaves, um, poor Spanish-speaking Mexicans, Native Americans. Pull out your money and look at the portraits on the bills. Who looks like them? Who would be more familiar to those established and those who ran the businesses and the towns, right? Did my grandfather work hard and study hard? Yes, he did. But a college door was open to him also. White. White. Power. Justice serves the interest of the richer. This has been discussed by thousands of years, and I've yet to see this statement defeated anywhere, anytime. Uh, did, any, did any black guys sign the Declaration of Independence? How about Native American women? Any Native American women? Any black guys? Any black people sign the Declaration of Independence? Mm -mm. No Native American women either, or men for that matter. Let us not forget that America was two red continents before the Europeans took stolen and sold African souls and built economic empires. King Cotton was the big one while obliterating Native Americans at the same time. Our forefathers were champions of international business. They were really good at killing, but human rights, not, not so much. Not a lot of that human rights stuff back then, really. The power structure was established.
And many people do not like giving up that power, do they? They don't want to lose status. If I'm poor and white in Louisiana, well, at least I ain't black. A South Dakota man can maintain that at least he ain't a drunken Indian, right? Today, because of government programs, these uneducated white folks believe that others are cutting in line to get their stuff. They're getting handouts that they don't deserve. Perception and perspective. So what do, what do we do? What, what, what do we do? One, we have real conversations with real people face to face, realizing that their perspective is supposed to be different. Be flexible Two, be flexible. Be willing to teach, willing to learn, willing to change. Three, be willing to care and share. Be willing to care and share. Four, look in the mirror. And I hope to do the same and, do, and be better at it.